the hugely popular movie character Jack Ryan, created, of course, by the late Tom Clancy, back with a new adventure and a new lead actor, Chris Pine plays Ryan in Jack Ryan's Shadow Recruit. He joins forces with Kevin Costner's character and ABC's Nick Watt spoke to both. Jack Ryan is back <laughs> for a fifth installment. We've got Kevin Costner playing the older, wiser spy master. Keep moving, Jack. And young Chris Pine as Jack, the all-American hero. Here's a guy who, after 9-11, sees a wrong that he needs to right. I knew that he gave the movie a real chance because Jack Ryan is somebody that has to hold the screen. Pine does that and more. Those blue thing. eyes and this guy can really act. Can we have a, 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 a minute, please? And he's fearless. You've got to be. <laughs> Playing a role once filled by Harrison Ford. How dare you, sir? Alec Baldwin. There's another possibility. And Ben Affleck. The bomb is in play! Buckle up. I've obviously had some experience with uh, Star Trek. If you start thinking about the expectations of fans or executives, you're just going to put yourself in the hole. You know, you sold this as an office job. In the movie, Costner dumps him in a very deep hole. Some of the fun of the movie is I put him in a position where I think he can succeed, and at that point, things unravel. You were once offered the Jack Ryan role. I was. <laughs> Well, you hear a lot in life, don't worry, things will come back to you. <laughs> it was really meant for you, it'll come back to you. <laughs> it did, um, in a really interesting way. He's very happy to play alongside young Mr. Pine. Costner also liked the director, Kenneth Branagh, the guy with Shakespearean pedigree who also stars as the movie's arch villain. You Americans like to think of yourselves as direct. Perhaps you are just rude. The message I got from this film is that Russians still make good baddies. That first night can be brutal. I mean, I think it has something to do with the accent. It doesn't make any sense to pick on Singapore. Perhaps you're just touchy. <laughs> good morning, America. Nick Watt, ABC News. Los Angeles.